folks, what a surprise. <laughs> what a surprise. This is Ron from Rice Beer Review and Tools. And uh, I think we got to go with today. As you saw earlier, you see it right now. It's a uh, ice cream review. It's not beer or ale or lager. It's ice cream. And I think it's going to be a good one. I got me some cones today. Remember those? Sometimes I forget them. Uh, let's play my harmonica. I'm going to be here a while. I got some reading material. That'll be good. Sunny here today. Nice day here in uh, eastern Massachusetts. It's really nice. Temperature's up there. Good day for uh, doing an ice cream review. Although the pollen is flying around quite a bit. Got my water. So I seem to be all set. Alright, no further ado. Let's uh, get a little information on um, the ice cream here. Brigham's. So I got some. Uh, I yeah, did, did a little uh, due diligence on uh, the Brigham's. Uh, Brigham's ice cream was founded in 1914 by Mr. Edward L. Brigham. And uh, how he started was he uh, hand cranked one gallon of ice cream back then, and uh, his family and friends loved it. It just literally went. So he started making some and selling it, and it just disappeared. Went so fast. Uh, let's see, in, I think it was 1928, he opened a store, an ice cream store, and started selling, and the rest is history. Um, let's see, this is only sold out through New England, so I, to be, I didn't get a lot of information. I just did a quick, I wanted to uh, do a review on this ice cream as my lovely wife picked this up, and uh, I've been wanting it for the longest time. This is called frozen pudding. I haven't had it for a number of years. And when I had it years ago, I used to like it. I really enjoyed it. Um, like I said, this is a throughout New England, um, basically. There might be New York involved with it, too. But um, basically, it's New England. We use the terms like when you go in and get a, a frap. A frap is a, it's in other parts of the country. It's an ice cream uh, soda. Here, it's a frap. Um, Okay, what else do I have here? The last remaining store is on uh, in Allenton, Massachusetts on Mass Ave, but I think they have a forced to change the name from Brigham's. They did have 100 restaurants at one time, and uh, that's quite a lot. All right, that's all the information for right now. Uh, let's get to the ice cream. That was some lousy harmonica plan. Get the old jackknife out. One of the old work knives. Usually I have one of the like, vintage uh, scout knives, whether it be Boy Scouts or Girl Scout knives. I'm not a collector. I use the knives that I, I purchase. Alright, this is it here. I don't see what this looks like. I haven't had it in so long. I'm wondering how they make it. What it looks like, oh, it's uh, the one starting to melt because it's so hot here. All right, uh, when we get a close up of the ice cream, mmm, doesn't that look good? It's starting to melt. This comes in the red because this was really a Christmas ice cream, and um, now where they've uh, throughout the year you can get it. Um, and thank goodness, because uh, I, I think in, when it's Christmas time, it's all red. I think this is all red here instead of red and green, if I'm not mistaken. And I thank my lovely wife for picking this up. She found it in the store and uh, got it for me perfectly to do a, a review on it if I uh, do enjoy frozen pudding I remember from years ago mm. uh, 
Get another uh, close-up of how this looks. Mm, it sure looks good. Mm. Mm, that looks good. Not if I can bend it enough, as you can see. But uh, this is a rum ice cream with all kinds of fruit in it. I know apples is in it and cherries. Uh, but let me read. For more than 100 years, the Brigham's name has been synonymous with incredibly rich and creamy ice cream. That's true. Made with fresh cream and milk, it's easy to see why Brigham's is the nice, is the ice cream the Winglands have enjoyed since 1914. Um, it has a lot of fruit pieces. I know cherries in this, apples in this. Um, maybe pineapple, peaches in this. I will put it down. Uh, here we go. I think we got something here. All right. Uh, besides the uh, cream and the milk, uh, golden raisins. Raisins is in this. Dark rum in the ice cream. Peaches is in this. Pineapple. I know apple it, it used to be in this. I, I don't see it on here. I don't have time, time reading it with the sun shining directly. The sun's right overhead. Beautiful blue skies today. My nose is itchy from the pollen. All right, no further ado. Um, this is really interesting. Mm. That sure looks good. Mmm. 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 That rum ice cream just screams out deliciousness. It's all over the taste buds, and then the fruit pieces kick in as you start chewing them. Mmm, mmm. A lot of fruit in this. Mmm. Mmm, no, it's cherries. This is so delicious. Mmm. Mmm. It's at the level that I like. It's melted enough that it's nice and soft. And a lot of folks don't like it like that. I do have my ice cream cone here. I will get a drink of water, excuse me. Oh, H2O. Water. Vasa. Agua. <clears throat> Whatever you call it, it's very good. All right. I have my cones here, sugar cones. The knife will be used again. I have a lot of jackknife, and I'm not really a knife collector, but um, for usage, I use them a lot of times, working in the yard, and just stuff like this here, where you need a knife. I'm gonna stick it in the ice cream here. I hope you're all having a good day today and the rest of the, the world. Just, YouTube goes all over the world. Uh, I will be getting back to my beer reviews uh, beginning of summer, week before probably. Um, I don't know yet. I'm having fun doing the, the ice cream reviews. There's, there's so much fun. Uh, I know this isn't high enough to see it. But uh, all right, let me get back to what. Uh, this is like, I put some, uh, like a little cone here. But um, is that the, the nice stage of melting this where it, it's so creamy in your mouth, it's, it, it's really delicious, particularly with the rum ice cream. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, man. It's so good.
Mm. Mm. Now with the comb. Mm. This one of the best flavors for ice cream. I know a lot of ladies and people and a lot of come guys like the chocolate flavors. Mmm. Mmm. But this flow's important. Touches all the bases. The fruit, the rum, ice cream itself. Mmm. Got rum flavor. Mmm. So if I'm eating fast and talking too fast, my nose is running again. But we can get a good view of it. Mmm. Mmm. Every spoonful has the food. It sounds like a cherry then. I mean, a grape. I think a grape. A green grape. Mm. It's um, it's a very smooth ice cream. The rum ice cream, very smooth, very tasty. Mm. With the sugar cone, yeah, they go together. I know some people enjoy waffle cones. Or those other type cones, soft cones, I think they call them. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Sorry to keep them, mm, 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 but um, it's smacking my lips. But this is really a delicious ice cream. Incredibly delicious. Mm. This is under the special flavors. I think it only comes out. I mean, it comes out now during the year. It used to just be around uh, Christmas or Thanksgiving or some holidays. Mmm. Well, those are definitely Christmas colors. Those are definitely Christmas colors. Uh, I know it's popular Christmas time. Mm. I thank my wife for finding this and get, getting it. She usually goes shopping at uh, Market Baskets. But, uh, she went to the store uh, in Burlington, Massachusetts, um, Wegmans. This is where she purchased it. Mm. 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 And Wegmans ice creams, like she said, as a rule, kind of a dollar less than all the places around. Sorry to be smacking my lips and making all these sounds. But um, I will put down all the fruits that are in this link below. But does have does have the nutritional facts there. I think they made it be at the beginning of the video. Mm. Now we have coming to the end. Mm. This is so so delicious. Like I said, 
Incredibly delicious. Mm. That is one fine flavored ice cream, frozen pudding from Brigham's. I know there's a Crescent Ridge, the dairy, they, they have, that I know, uh, makes um, frozen pudding. So, well, anyways, I'm, uh, I'll end it here. All the pollens, I don't know if you can if you pick it up on the, the camera, flying all around, <laughs> covering the table here. And, um, have a good day, folks, uh, from uh, Eastern Massachusetts. So I'd not be looking at the camera, but uh, have a good day, folks, from Eastern Massachusetts. Enjoy the day. Get together with your family and friends. Do things. Uh, the virus is still around. The coronavirus is still around. We have to wear masks here um, in Massachusetts, but that at the end of May, um, you don't have to wear masks anymore outside, etc. So, um, but be careful. And uh, watch out for your senior citizens in your neighborhood and your family and your friends. So, have a good day, folks. Ciao. I get that up there. Ciao. <laughs>